Smoky Assassin, aka Icebreaker, here. We are going to be looking at the Rocket Chopper, which is available on this month's Proto Cycle. Uh, as you can see, I've already got them all loaded up, ready to go. You can see there it has six days, 23 hours left, because we get them for a week. Uh, <clears throat> we'll um, have a look at their stats. Now you can see it says Flying Unit. That means it'll fly rather than run across the floor, so you don't need to worry about mines. Uh, you don't need to clear anything like that because they just fly over the top, not affected by mines. <clears throat> uh, they get 1950 base health. Um, you can fit one per landing craft. They're going to cost you 85,000 gold a pop. Uh, 33 minutes, 20 seconds to train. It says movement speed slow, but from my experience, they're not very slow. They're actually pretty quick. Uh, long range. Now, damage per second is 14.56. And when they're destroyed, you get uh, two Zookas that drop out of it. <clears throat> uh, those two Zookas will be the same as what, uh, same level as what they are in your armory. So if you've got max level Zookas already, uh, when, you, when a Rocket Chopper dies and spawns two Zookas, those Zookas will be max level. If you've got uh, level three Zookas, when the Chopper dies, you'll get level three Zookas out. <clears throat> So let's jump in, we'll have a look at attack. <clears throat> Just done one on here. Now, like I said, they say uh, slow movement speed, but if you watch, they are actually pretty nippy. I think they're, I'm not sure what they are you know, equal to, but they are pretty quick. Um, now with these, if you've uh, played warships, you'll know that when you scout on warships, you can see the little red star above certain defenses the ones that will target air troops <clears throat> you don't get to see that on main base when you have them loaded so you need to be you need to uh, be aware of which defenses will target them and that is things like machine guns sniper towers <clears throat> cannons boom cannons rocket launchers and machine guns will all target um, air troops everything else will ignore them and won't be any bother Right, you can see they are pretty powerful. We've literally just uh, flown straight through this base without much difficulty. We've lost one um, rocket chopper. And you can see the two Zookas drop out. <coughs> so, you know, they are pretty powerful. This is a 541 account unboosted. And it made that look quite easy. Now, I said to be mindful of when, when you're scouting, when you look over some of these base. The only way you'll know if you're not sure on which defense to target them, what you have to do is, is go and tap on them. You see there it says targets flying with a little red star there. Um, only, you know, sniper towers, machine guns, boom cannons, normal cannons. <coughs> They're the uh, things you need to worry about. Uh, another thing you need to know is that you can smoke them if you want to. Now, like I said, they don't, they're not worried about mines, so you don't need to clear any mines unless you're using another troop as well for a meat shield, like heavies or, or whatever, but you can, uh, you can drop them all down, get them all under smoke, flare to the back. Now, bullet's going to get left behind because they are a lot quicker than bullet, like so. Did lose a couple there on the landing, but... As you can see, bullets getting left behind. <clears throat> so now we need to worry about the sniper tower, which is now gone, but that rocket launcher is still going to target us. So we're going to let them clear a bit of GBE. Bullet there was pretty nicely timed for the shock to wear off so that we can uh, use our taunt. Now you will notice that they shoot backwards, which is a known bug from warships. They've done that since they were introduced. Um, not sure what what causes it, but sometimes they shoot backwards, which is kind of funny. Now that bullet's gone down, we are hitting the core. 
Got a couple of shots on the boom cannons and stuff. Another one goes down. <clears throat> so yeah, you need to play around, guys. Find out which uh, which method you prefer. Whether you want to go full clear and clear everything you need to to get the get the core, or whether you want to smoke them in and take out a base using a smoky tactics, which is probably best. Uh, like I said, the zookas that drop out of it are uh, same level as your armory. Now, when you get these, uh, you'll see on mine they're level 22. And that's because I've got uh, level 23 armory. So whatever level your armory is, the rocket choppers will be one level below it. So if you've got a level 20 armory, you'll get level 19 rocket choppers. And the way to upgrade them is you need to uh, go on to the daily events. So today it's Hammerman. Um, when you complete stages of Hammerman, you'll get the... Uh, Get the little tokens that um, upgrade the new proto troop cycle. Once you've uh, collected enough tokens, it raises it at one one little tier, and it'll go up a level after three tiers, I think it is. So you can see there the tokens there. You can see them flicking down towards the rocket chopper. Once you get twelve fifty of those, that'll go up to uh, tick two see here on the left hand side I've got 30 out of 1250 and um, once you hit 1250 you'll get another little um, little marker there the little uh, triangle can't think what's called <laughs> but you'll get um, another one of those and I think once you get three of those it goes up to level 23 um, and then you can collect three more and it'll go to level 24 which would be max level so yeah guys that there is the rocket chopper um, I'm pretty sure we're going to see some good stuff from these guys, especially people with crab accounts, because they are going to be pretty dicey. We will be doing a fun up with them on Sunday too, um, on Saturday, sorry. Uh, should be a good laugh, so keep your eyes open for that. And we'll see you for the next one, guys. Have fun.